So today I'm going to share with you guys all of our family's vintage ornaments. There are so many of these. We always call it the Uncle Danny Christmas tree when we use all of these old ornaments because um, my great uncle, right mom? Yes. My great uncle Danny had this insane collection of like 900 plus vintage ornaments and they there's just so many of them but that was his tree every year he would fill it with all these beautiful ornaments so every time we use these we say oh we're doing an uncle danny tree this year so i don't know how many we have we have a ton and i'm honestly like not really sure how to even go about this video because they're all wrapped up so delicately and i don't know how to show them all to you guys in like good timing but we're just gonna start to go through some of them. I'll show some close-ups and stuff like that. Um, so we'll start with this one. This one, this little birdie is so cute. Kind of freaks me out a little, honestly. Kind of looks like a cat bird. Some of them are like really, really cute. And some I think are a little creepy. There's one that's like my absolute favorite. I'm gonna have to see if I can find her. Um, this little like elephant guy is so funny looking. This one kind of reminds me of like a character from like um, Charlie Brown for some reason. It's cute. This one is one of my favorites. I love the ones that have pink on them and I just think that they're so beautiful. Um, this is like, I remember growing up, we, there are so many of these little clip birds I feel like these are one of my mom's favorites. She always would clip these to the Christmas tree and they look so gorgeous on there. I wanna find my favorite girl. I know that she's in here somewhere. There's a bunch of these ones. Oh my gosh. She looks like a character from a movie. I just can't think of what the character is, but she reminds me of something can't like when I look at it I'm like it's at the tip of my tongue but I can't think of what it is I have to if I can think of it while I'm editing I'll put it in this one's so cute here is another one of these oh, I found my favorite one you guys she wait this isn't it but this is very close to it there must be a couple that look like her but like I said, I, for some reason, I'm just so drawn to the pink ones. And I think this one is so gorgeous and so beautiful. And all of like the little details on it, like the hair, the fluff, the skates, like they're just so tiny and so easily breakable, which is the scary part about these. I feel like it's so nerve wracking to touch them and have them on the tree. Uh, I'm at my parents' house, by the way, so they're probably gonna fill up their tree with these. If you don't like clowns, I suggest you look away, but this one's kind of cute. It's like this sweet clown. Oh, here's another one that's so beautiful. It's just like the pink girl I showed you guys, but this one is blue. It looks like there's actually two of them. There's another one right here. really really cute this one is so so adorable all right you guys I found the one that is my favorite and it's in such beautiful condition it looks like a brand new ornament like you would think you just went to the store and bought this but if you can see the detail on the candlesticks and how thin they are the fact that these are so many years old like 70 plus years old and they still are intact is truly a miracle because they, they're just so easy to break i remember like setting these up when we were little and we had someone come someone was like with us and they were helping us set them up and i remember a couple of them broke and i was just like <laughs> like your heart sinks when they break because it's just so sad so I usually leave it up to my parents to like put all of these up because I do not want to be responsible for them breaking. Oh, these are 
so sweet. I think what I love about these the most is just how colorful everything is and they're so whimsical and unique and i feel like ornaments now like everyone just has such like monotone trees which is still really pretty but i just love how different all these were another one of these clip candlestick holders i love these here's like all the birds not all of them but a good little portion of them there are so many um, but they're just so beautiful. They're all so uniquely colored. This one is probably my favorite. I love these colors on it. And this one's really cute too. Here's a Santa. I know there's like a bunch of Santa ones somewhere. Let's see, there might be another Santa in here. This one is so funny. These ones are really beautiful. It's funny too, because like all of his ornaments are very unique and they're like these little characters where a lot of times when you go to antique shops and vintage markets, you find ones more similar to these that are just like the balls or more of the shapes. So I feel like it's a little bit more rare to be able to find all of these cool, unique little uh, people. This woman is getting me every time. I don't know who she looks like. There has to be a character that I'm thinking of. Hmm. You guys, there are so many boxes of these. I don't even know, like I wanna be able to show all of them, but there are way too many to unravel and open up and show you guys. So I'm just trying to like pick through them and just do some of the really fun ones. But this one is beautiful so so cute the santa oh this one's so different it's like i don't even remember this one at all but it's kind of clear almost and all of the sparkles on it are so sharp and like it just in like a perfect formation it's really crazy i remember this one from when i was little this one, I feel like was always on our tree. It's like a little guy skiing. Okay, next tub. Start to go through these. What is this one? Oh my gosh, another clown. I'm sorry if you guys do not like clowns. There are, there's a lot of like creepy clown ones, but some of them are just so cute. Um, let's see, this one looks like a polka dot one. Oh, this is so cute. I don't know what it is. It kind of looks like a little guy, like a little mushroom man, gnome kind of a thing. That is so cute. I don't think I've ever seen this one. I like him a lot. He's really sweet. Ooh. That one's a little creepy. Here's another Santa. Oh, he looks so jolly, so happy. Pretty. Oh, the public would come in. Really? And see his yard. They'd see he had he had two to three Christmas trees. Oh my god! Set up. You can see, it's not a very good picture, but it's the only one I have. <gasps> wow! It would take him like a week to set everything up. You guys see that? So, how old are all these ornaments? Like, <sighs> well, they probably started the back in the fifties, or at least. Oh. Most of them are at least 70 years old or older. That is crazy. She's cute. She's like a little witch maybe. I don't know, she's really cute. I think I showed you guys one really similar to this, unless I'm just remembering this from when I was younger but it's really cute. I just can't get over like how long it must have taken them to make these and then to paint them. Like there's just so much, <laughs> another little clown. <laughs> how much detail was in all of these. This is so cute. Again, this one looks brand new. I feel like this looks like you just went to the store, grabbed an ornament. It's so shiny. 
This reminds me of the Good Witch from Wizard of Oz for some reason. I think her name is Glenda. Aww, he's cute. Little bear, little fluffy bear. <laughs> There's a lot, so I think I'm going to do like five more because there are just so many. Aw, he looks like a, um, why am I not thinking? He looks like he's from like Snow White. He just reminds me of that. These are a little creepy. I have Minnie Mouse, I'm assuming. Two of them. I just pulled another one out. This is a big one. That's a really big ornament. Last ornament. So I hope it's a good one. Let's see. Let's go with this. What is this? Oh, this is cute. This is a little boat and that's creepy, so I'm not gonna show it. But this is cute, a little boat. There are so many ornaments, like I said, so if you guys want me to, at some point, do a part two to this, I will. I just don't wanna make this video too long, and I don't know if it's boring, because there's not really much to talk about while I'm showing all of these, but they're definitely so fun to look at and so beautiful, and I will share with you, with you guys what the tree looks like when it's all decorated. These are going to look so beautiful on it, and like I said, it's just so fun to see like how colorful the tree is. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys have your own collection of these, let me know how many you guys have or when you started your collection. But I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Oh my God.